Hello, for those of you who don't know, my name is Callie, and I want to do a little bit of an opening for some of the things I've been really looking forward to getting since Gone Star started airing. I was very late to getting an EX box, but we have one now, so I'm excited to see what's in that. I also got these because there's a couple more raised buckles coming out that I want to hang on my walls if you haven't seen my walls already. These are really good. I am going to link these in the description of the video, but uh, I'd recommend these if you're already getting stuff from Amazon Japan because as we all know, the shipping can be, uh, can be quite a bit. So, set those aside. And I want to do the Phase 3 first and the EX second because the EX is definitely more of a... definitely feels more like a treat kind of product. So, okay, I've immediately ripped the box. That's fun. That's nice. Here we have these usual exceptional packs. I really, I'm pretty sure this is the Ancients and Occults, or it's the Occults and the Fantastics. Either way, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what's in these. I'm pretty sure SR Mite Mirror got released in these ones, and man, I really... Mite Mirror is probably my favorite Kemi, like, just based on design alone. With the exception of, like, my big, big, uh, bias towards ocean-themed things. So let's see what we have. In Phoenix! It's pretty cool. One of those... Fantastic guys, you can tell by the little dragon symbol there. Phoenix, Warp Terra, an ancient. Gaki Gen Meteon, that's pretty cool. Oh, and Dark Kabuto, that's pretty cool. I have not seen Kabuto, but I do think that Tendo is very, very funny seeming. We have Masked Rider Dark Kabuto. That's also really important. There's a lot of Dark Riders in the set, and a Dione, which I need because I did not purchase the Godzard Igniter and Valva Driver set, although I do plan to pick that up because the debut was absolutely spectacular, so I'm going to put these to the side. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm ready for a lot of duplicates, I'm ready for it to happen, you know, not going to be particularly hurt by it, I wonder what our parallel is going to be, that is very exciting, oh, 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 oh. That's right, the Replicamis are in here too, so we have Rec uh, we have Replicami Dione, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of the way they look. The designs on them are really nice. I'm such a huge fan of the Replicami cards. Hmm? King Caravina. This is a Cosmo card, but I'm not entirely sure which planet this is supposed to be. Maybe Venus? But that's still really nice. I like I like the cosmic theme. I like the uh, I like the fantastic cards. I think they're all very nice. I was looking forward to them coming out, and I'm glad I got to open another box because as a Yu-Gi-Oh player, I really love opening boxes like this. We got a pretty good fun. We got Zuki Empire, you know the um, I don't want to say the big bad. I don't think that's the word, but uh, the main star of a very recent Godzilla episode. That was very good. I liked it a lot. And of course, we have Ten Liner, which I'm very, very excited to get. Because while I haven't picked up the um, the uh, X Liner expansion kind of piece for the driver, I really do want the X cards because having like ten variants, especially of a train, to go in the super unit, I think is very cool. The the Gotcha Caliber, I believe it's called. Try to get a good look at that. Timeliner really has a great design. And then we have Torikera. You know, I really appreciate that in the years of dinosaur themes, we've really kept it simple with Triceratops. You know, Bakuryu, Torikera, Torikera Vice Stamp, Dorikera for Q, uh, not Q Ranger, uh, Q Ranger, which is a little different, but still pretty good take on one of my favorite dinosaurs being the Triceratops. We're off to a pretty good start. Not seen hints of that parallel yet, but we did get 10 liner, which I was hoping for. I hope this pack has the Ancients in it. Because there are cards in there that I think are... Oh, yes! Oh, wait, no, this is what I thought it was. This is... How Odin. Odin, a very, a very, very, very cool card. You know, I like the, I like the lightning. It's giving Zeus, but, uh, it's Odin. That's really cool. Uh, Angel Lead, which I really enjoyed the introduction of Angel Lead in the show. I think the Angel Lead Malgum is probably one of my favorites. And the debut was genuinely so good for Kamen Rider Valverad. Is this? 
This is Raidenji, but it looks... Oh, is this like the... Is this Daybreak Raidenji? That's really cool! Oh, he looks so... He looks so steampunky. Check out that. I'm a big fan of regular Raidenji because I love... I like batteries. I buy a lot of Duracells, but this is... This is cool. Big fan of that one. The Barosol. It's a little one-legged umbrella guy. This is a little fella, so we do at least have the Occults. Ooh, and a UR Mach Wheel. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely peak display piece right here. Mach Wheel. Very cool. I do think the Common Rider Valvarad is very cool. I like him a lot. Uh, probably a better debut than Iron. It, it is Iron. Iron Gotchard. Another How Odin. Daybreak Hawkstar. I'm going to put him up here in the growing Daybreak pile. Another Angelide. A normal mock wheel that I can use for like playing around and stuff. And a SR Meteon. Gaki Gen Meteon. That's really good. I like to keep the SRs for display and rares for like, you know, putting in the driver, putting in the Valve Rusher, things like that. Valve Drawer, even. I like to keep those things pretty separate. Game Griffin. Fantastic name. Ooh. Liz Ameth, Jama Tanorochi. Yes, the sun! Aha! Dude, I love the sun's design. I'm a big f I ordered the Alchemist driver unit and I cannot wait to get it so I can start playing with the sun. And then SR Angel is nice too because, like I said, I like to have like, at least an SR or a UR for display purposes, but I like to keep a less rare version for playing around because I remember. When the videos, or when the photos of the Gotch Hard Driver were circulating from like the Toys R Us display in Japan, the cards, yes! Nemonite, oh yes! I love this little guy, he's so silly! Look at him, he's the silliest little guy! Uh, Dione, that's cool, an extra replicating Dione. Saber Liger, which is good because I'm working on something, I'm absolutely cooking with like, trying to convert Specifically, Chalice's Rouse deck to Kemi cards because he has like the highest conversion rate so far. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Ooh, that's a good pick. Saber Lager, which I need. Mac Wheel, you know, like I said, good to have a couple, couple rares lying around. And Common Rider Gaium Kiwami Arms. I'm a big fan of Ki of Kiwami Arms. It is an absolutely phenomenal design. I'm a big fan of the, you know, the Dai 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 Shogun. Very cool. I don't know how the Legend Driver works with the Final Form cards, but I'm hoping it'll read it at least as Kiwami. This is the only Gaim card I have, though, so there's nothing else I can get the Gaim sounds out of it. But uh, despite having a CSM Sengoku Driver, I do really like having other ways to hear. Uh, the silly sound. So that that is a really good pickup. I'm liking the writers we got so far. Dark Capito and Kiwami are both supreme picks. Absolutely supreme pickups. I'm really happy to see those. Gonna keep going here with another pack. Got a whole box to go through. It's gonna be pretty good. We'll try to fast forward through stuff. It's, it's a lot of duplicates, which I'm sure we'll start running into soon. Soon. Okay, I skipped ahead a little bit. I got a little excited because I saw. Daybreak Mechanic Kenny! Let's go! Stop that one in the Daybreak pile and admit, like I said, I love ocean cards. He's a crab. Poggers. This is just oh, Dread Type Zero's main card here. My sweet, beloved Savvy Maru. And his Steam Liner for his replica Kenny. Steam Liner. I like the blue up top. That's really nice. I'm going to put that over here. We have Unicorn. We have a rare Unicorn to go with our, I believe, uh, our rare, the Sun. So this is a nice, shiny play set. Because once I get uh, the Alchemist Driver, I will need... I'll have the SRs, so these are good to have. I can go ahead and start, you know, playing with those. Like I said, I love the ocean, so naturally, seeing... When I saw Dawn Poseidon, I was in love. I'm really happy to pick this card up. I understand that it's not the same as, like, opening... A maze of Millennium box and hoping to get colorless, which I did and which I have, which is amazing. However, um, I know that I'm not going to get every card that I want out of the Kemi sets, but it is it is really nice to get one that I that I did really look forward to getting. 
Another Halloween. Oh. Eerie is so cute. I'm gonna explode. Who's the cutest little baby? Keep that one on screen. We have Daybreak Bullet Bang. That's pretty cool. I really do like the Daybreak designs. Even though I'm admittedly not the biggest fan of the Daybreak suits. Oh, these are nice. We have an SR in Phoenix. Great, fantastic lineup. And of course, Cross Hopper in his little, his little outfit, his little getup for Platinum Gotchard. Nice, 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 nice. These two look really, really good together. I'm very happy that we got X variants of these cards, and while I don't think it's gonna happen, I would have really liked for him to use these individually with the Gotcha Caliber, if, he, if only for a finisher. But the show's still airing and anything can happen, so while I'm glad to pick those up, I hope we see more possibilities out of them in the near future. Gotta readjust the camera here a little bit. By camera, I mean my phone. We're, we're, we are getting through the first strip of cards. There's a lot of, you know, Replicami Unicorn. Absolutely beautiful. Very dark, very edgy. I'm a big fan of the Replicami designs. Another Zucumpire. To the Zucumpire. Oh, I think that, I think that's our parallel, and I think I know what it is. I'm so excited to see it. Another Dione. <laughs> yes! We got... Uh, it looks so bad with like the lighting because I'm not I'm not gonna be lighting it, but I'm working on it. But we have Common Rider Omagio Parallel. This is absolutely gorgeous. I only have three parallels so far. This will make four, and two of them are riders. The other one's double. Oh my god, this is that is so nice. That is an absolutely gorgeous card. I love Omagio. Not the best villain, however. Probably one of the best suits in Tokusatsu history, if I'm gonna be freaking honest with me. <laughs> Come on. We have got some absolutely peak pickups in just like the shinier's, you know, and some cards I really wanted. Keep these over here. Oh. Let's bust into this one. I if we get two parallels, dude, it's gonna be sort of game over. Another Mammo Knight, fantastic. Zuki Empire, Steam Lighter, Nine Tail. And SR Unicorn, nice, nice, nice. Like I said, I'm going to get one from the Alchemist Riser unit. However, it feels really good to pull one. Got nine tail. We got Geats over here. Now he's in a cult because you know, Ace with us. Am I right, fellow Geats enjoyers? Absolutely lovely. I'm gonna put that over here in my growing kind of SR pile. Gotta get these separated a little better, admittedly. It's a, it's a mess off screen, guys, trust me. You can, you can see a little bit of it. Just wanna pop in with a brief intermission to see how your day's going. I hope it's going well. Uh, take a shot every time I say epic or awesome or fantastic or some shit like that. That'd be pretty, <laughs> you'd, you'd be out pretty quick. Um, I wanna ask, uh, you know, uh, got any big plans going up? Maybe going to PMC? I'll probably see you there. That'll be pretty fun to look forward to. Are you enjoying Boom Boomer so far? I think, I think it's pretty great. We're only two episodes in, but I think it's gonna be a good one. Uh, Gotch Heart's still as strong as ever. Still enjoy it, and I hope you are too. All right, back to the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to this all day, making a quick little video out of it. Yes, Nemine Moon, Nemine Moon. Sick. I really do like the um, the Cosmo cards, especially. I've really spoken to me in their designs, and their Malgums have been really, really great. Cosmo over there. Daybreak Skebones for our Daybreak pile. Gigalodon! Gigalodon is very important for the Chalice idea I had earlier because um, if you don't know, Chop Head is a shark. So that's nice. We've got another Tamliner. Amazing to have. Say Zombie. I don't know who this little guy goes with, but uh, ooh, that's really nice. Probably gonna be pretty sick. So, yeah, what's on the back of this? Oh, right, X, that. Makes a lot of sense. Oh wait! <laughs> Check it out. These guys, these guys go together. Huh. How fun that's time. What a that is a killer design. I really assume we get to see it in the show, but however, in a cult and an ancient, probably not. With so few. Not I don't want to say few episodes left, because you know, we're not quite over yet, but if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. We're getting to the point where we're just gonna see steam and then fire and things like that. Fantastic. Ancient. 
a cult. So Q Fire is a cult, which, uh, like, I know he's pink, so it makes sense. But I just, I, I for some reason thought he'd be something different, you know, I just, I'm not really sure why. Like, a second to ten liner is beautiful. Out of the ones I have, I think Denji's my favorite. Although Bullet Thing is really sick. You do have two Hawk Stars, that's, that's nice. Is that? We might have a second parallel here, folks. Replicami Unicorn, nice. Got the Kerberos, that's really, really good. That is a fantastic, not a cult. Fantastic. Cosmos. Mockwheel. Oh, yes! We got the Unicorn Parallel as well. That's two parallels in this box. It's got the, it's got the, oh, fuck. It's got the Yu-Gi-Oh! number font. It's genuinely just really, really magical, you could say. An absolutely magical card, that is. That's really, that's a really good pull. Put this up here with our growing pile of really freaking good pulls. Okay. Thank you, Eerie, for staying with us. Mac Wheel going over here. You are an ancient ego right here. Let's continue. I like the pack update. You know, you got Magic, you got Valve Red all on the box there. That, these guys did not want to come out. Ooh, ooh. Eternal! Whoa! I'm a fan, I'm a fan. I do have the CSM Eternal belt. I do love some Eternal action. That is pretty nice. Eternal! And all that. Yeah. You know, we got the, got the rare unicorn. Duplicates all around. Slap one of those over there. And these are all picked up already. We're getting pretty low. I think we're well over halfway through the packs now. That's okay. That's okay. We're having a good time. I really want to get Liangle because I did just finish Blade. SR Gigalodon. Absolutely immaculate. I really like all the ancient cards, honestly. We've got another cross hopper. That's good. That's so good. Got two cross hoppers and two cross te and two ten liners, so we got. Plenty of display, plenty of play. Display and play. <laughs> Ooh. That's a 10 back there. We got Eerie again. Full bang. We got Mars. Mars and Mercury and an EX 10 liner. The real 10 10 liner. Let's go. If we can also hit the real 10 cross hopper, I'll be... I'll be, I'll be pretty freaking happy. We do get Mercury and Mars, though, and those are both really nice. They're a bit simpler, but, you know, Mercury is on the move. Fire Mars going into a fight. Absolutely. Absolutely lovely. A second Bullet Bang and another carry for our cutie pile. Absolutely adorable chemi card that guy is. Try not to pull them out so haphazardly so I'm assuming what's going on. Carry for the carry pile. Two in one. Oh, 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 oh! Ultimate Revive. That's what I'm freaking talking about. What an amazing card. The Ultimate Kemi is so good. It's genuinely gorgeous. And of course, we have the ever fantastic Ultimate Revive in the background. That is exceptional. Of course, we have another rare unicorn to go along with it. Slap this on our growing rider pile. I think we're coming down to a, well, about the last four, maybe five, possibly three packs here. Then we're gonna move on to the EX box. Liz Mammoth, Namine Moon. Okay, we got a duplicate. No, that's Van Fenrir. That's not a duplicate, because we got Kerberos before. But we do have a whole hand of duplicates here, and that's okay. That's, that's buying a box of cards, baby. I got plenty of duplicates from my other boxes, plenty of duplicates from my, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! boxes. It happens. Nemonite, he gets his own pile because he's the GOAT. Mechanic Candy for the Daybreak pile. A nice, nice steam liner for a Replicami pile. The Sun. And Fuse! Cosmic States. Yes, let's go. I don't have a Forze, much like Gaim, so this is really cool to have. 
I like Cosmic States. I, I've never been a fan of the States naming scheme. However, I'm not really going to complain because this form is great. Soundtrack, absolutely banger. I'm really happy to have this card in my collection. We got these two final form riders here. That's pretty nice. Oh, three, because we have Ultimate Revy as well. I hope we hit another one, and I'd really like to hit Liangle in like the Dark Rider portion. Yeah, we are down to two packs. We got a UR, and I think I know what that is. That might be him. Another Dione, beautiful. Kinky Ravjo, which I still don't know what that is. Hawkstar, Pook. Paku Raptor. Paku Raptor, which is really good because I'm going to need that for my chalice. Ooh, it's just an SR. I thought we might get that full EX finish, but no, nope, that's still really nice. And I will definitely display it with my EX finish card. So I'm slap this over here on top of the cross hopper pile. Take a look at Paku Raptor here. I really like the Ancients. They did a really good job with all of them. And you go on the Ancient pile. It's our last pack for phase three. Everybody send me your energy. Let's get something really good. Let's get let's get let's hit a good dark rider. Let's hit Liangle. Let's hit something really, really good here. Alright. Alright, out. Do you have a rider? We do not. We do not. Could still be good though. Replica can be unicorn. Poggers. An extra fire Mars. Beautiful. Tricarabras, good. Never hurts to have an extra cross hopper. And we got Corona! Cor yeah, that is Corona. The black hole card, which if, I, if I'm correct, combines with a dragon card, which I which we didn't pull to make Wind's main form. That's really nice. So that is all the phase threes, and now we're gonna move over to the phase EX, our final, final bit of pulling here we're gonna do. There's many less packs in here, but that's because there's a lot of SRs, URs. Hope we don't see that that fellow I'm hoping to avoid here. I didn't bring my box cutters, so it's a little awkward to get into, but I will. I will persevere. Okay, there we go. I have a garbage bag, don't worry. This is nice, this is nice. Uh, I really like to kind of... Oh, there we go. Yeah! Like a Yu-Gi-Oh deck box. I draw! I believe we're back down to three cards per pack with these. Yes. Three cards. We have an SR Spigel, an SR Bugalacia, and Neon Fantasy. Just as my cat comes up here to see what I'm up to, I'm actually going to have to get down to little baby. Neon Nago Fantasy Form, that's what I'm talking about. We're going to put that on the Final Form Rider Piles, because while I do wish Neon got a double buckle, Fantasy is her final form, and I've got to respect that. Draw. There's 10 packs in here, there's 10 packs. I can't remember the parallels from the set, but I hope we get something good. Oh, Legends at the bottom there. We got Pack Pack Parka. Speaking of parallels, whoa, baby! We got the Common Rider Legend Legend Parallel, let's go! That's absolutely insane. What a gorgeous card. They really put everything they had into this card, and I'm really happy I got around to pulling it. I kind of like that it's just the line that he's not there, but his presence is felt. You now, this is a really good card, and I'm really happy that I picked it up. It's going to go over here with other, with my other little beautiful parallel. That's also very golden. I'm going to draw another card. I'm playing Pot of Greed out here. Let's see what's on the back. That's Spigel. So it could be Granwell. It is. We've got an SR Granwell. And a special SR Nago that's just the cat. I like that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the rider pile. We get another pack. Only 10 packs, man. Only 10 packs. Oh, 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 oh. Rider. We got a rider card. Yes, SR Happy Clover. What a sweet little baby. I'll put next to carry. SR Time Lord, which is nice. 
Oh. Geets 9, everybody. We got, uh, we got, we got Geets 9. Okay. SR Time Lord! Let's go! I'm getting a, an SR Time Lord that's going with the other SRs over there. Winding down, folks. Winding down. We'll do a bit of a recap at the end, see how the cards I was most excited about, see what we got. I got an extra Yami Bat, which is really good because I need Bat for the Garen deck I'm putting into for Scope Bat. Catula. Oh, yes! Yes! So, when I bought my Phase 1 set, I did not pull the Illustrious Exceed Fighter. However, now I have one. I have the Exodia Exceed Fighter. That's really good. Getting another Yami Bat is good, another Catula is good. But I do need a UR Catula for what I'm thinking of with this. This is the this is the thing. Oh, this is a parallel. Holy shit, this is a parallel. I think my luck today has been pretty freaking great. Thank you, Amazon Japan, for making this stuff so accessible. What do we got? Rider, 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 rider! We got a rider card. Okay, bus sassery. That's good. Common rider buffa, the fucking go. And tycoon butt in sword. Nice. It's a really good pair to see together. These silly little guys, so so little fellows. It's really nice, it's really nice. Now, does Blue Team count as a Dark Rider or some normal final form is the question. Let me know what you think in the comments. He was evil for a pretty long time, but then again, he did have his spectacular arc. Back to Zenny. Zenny. Back who won Zenny? Okay. That's the Cicada guy. Kalyarudos. Oh, I got an extra UFO X. So if you don't have a UFO X and you want one, let me know. I might send you this one. So they're actually X pile, and these little bad boys are gonna go over here in my little growing SR pile that I have. So we got three packs left. I'm making a mess. Utsukochana, that's good. Bounty Bunny to go with the parka. And X Yigdurasev. I can't pronounce this card. However, it's the big tree. You can notice it, except with the cool Exodia parallel. That's nice. Lots of parallels today. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Second to last pack. What do we have? Rider. We got a rider. We got a rider, everybody. Rider, rider, rider. Great Tonbo. Yama Gas cameo. Let's go! The SR Blade! <laughs> yes! Goblin Rider Buff uh, Fever. Hold on. Fever Zombie Jamashin. Yes! Absolutely fucking. Fucking. I cannot think of another Final Form Rider card I would have rather seen in this set, absolutely beautiful. And we got the SR Blank, which is probably my second favorite SR card. Dude, awesome. Freaking awesome. Go in the SR pile. And our final pack. What are we hoping for? What do you think? What do you think I'm gonna see? Take this box, get it out of here. I'll put that in the trash later, don't you worry. Let's tear this bad boy open. Common Rider Geats. The original Geats. That's pretty cool, I guess. Yes! We got the SR Mite Mirror. Let's go, dude! Absolutely fucking peak card design right here. And we got the X Beetle, which I currently see as the change beetle for the Kenzaki Kenny deck. And that's all the cards that we own. You know, my favorite SR, obviously, Mite Mirror. As I said at the start, he's my favorite Kenny. Let's go, let's go over all of these parallels I got, because I got quite a few. Parallel. Boom. Parallel. This leaves you with the feeling that if I had, if I'd opened, like, one more pack. I thought I got another one. Oh, right, Unicorn. That's right, that's the sick parallel. I don't have the Sun counterpart, which is a little... Awful, but hey, that's okay. We got Parallel Unicon with that beautiful number Yu-Gi-Oh font text. Parallel freaking Omagio. You know? 
got the statue behind him of Omegio, that's lovely. Parallel Common Rider Legend, which is going straight in the sleeve and straight in my binder. Parallel Exceed Fighter, again, which is great because I didn't have one before. Parallel X, X Tree, I'm going to call him that. And finally, Parallel X Beetle. And that's my opening for the sets. Uh, we can take a look at the Rider cards as well. I think there's some really good ones in here. We got Jamashin Buffa. Absolutely, absolutely peak. We got Tycoon, but in sword. Uh, Nago Fantasy. Ah, I love this trio of writers. This trio is one of my favorite in like the whole franchise. I love these three guys and their three final forms. So goaded. We also got Buffa and we got Nago in their special, not quite parallels, but their SR kind of special to this pack kind of look. Then previously we got the lovely Common Rider Eternal. He matches with an O's card it seems, which one I'm not sure who. wherever the O's Dark Rider is. We got Common Rider Gaian Kiwami Arms. Absolutely stunning card for an absolutely stunning form. Put Eternal up here and then I get out of the way for a little bit. At the peak of peak, we have Ultimate Revice and Fools A Cosmic States. This is an incredible lineup. Thank you so much for watching me open all these packs. We'll probably open some more in the future when I want to chase after the other versions of these and things like that. But thank you so much for watching, and you have a good day.